काफी अकेला हो या अकेला काफी हो शब्द वही है पर क्रम बदल गए हैं और उससे भावार्थ बदल गया यही फर्क है नकारात्मक और सकारात्मक सोच में सकारात्मक सोच जो है वो जिंदगी में सफल होने में मदद करती है हे फ्रेंड्स हैव टू एवर गॉन अक्रॉस अ सिचुएशन इन योर लाइफ वेयर यू फेल डिस्पेयर यू फेल लो यू फेल एज इफ देयर इज नथिंग टू लुक फॉरवर्ड टू देन यस दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू वुड बी हैप्पी टू हियर अबाउट व्हाट एवर हैपेंस टू अस is a matter of choice we have a choice of uh reacting in the way that we want to either we choose to respond or we choose to react so what is the difference between the two when you react you act without thinking and when you respond you act after thinking so you must have heard about the quote think before you speak or think before you act so how are you able to manage your life with creating your realities is what i would be explaining to you in this video i am like the signer vijay prashad who has had a entire journey of transformation into the world of transformation so all that i do is to help you change your perspective from what you see and what it actually is just as the quote i said earlier that dekhne ka nazariya agar alag ho to cheeze badal sakti hai so if you're able to see things in the right perspective it won't overwhelm you so whatever you want in life you can achieve by organizing your mind to create the reality that you want so your personality is nothing but your personal reality and you are the one responsible for creating that personality which you desire hey friends it gives me great pleasure to share with you what i do every day well i am a life coach i call myself a life designer all that i do is make people fall in love with themselves previously i explained to you how a positive attitude will help you to lead a successful life so uh, if you have to work on a project what is it that you search for first you going to see what resources you have in the same way i have the five p system for success so the first thing that i talk about is knowing yourself khud ko jaan lo jab aap jante hain ki aapke paas kaun si skills hai kaun si abilities hai kya knowledge hai tab aapka attitude towards life samajh mein aata hai aur tab humko pata chalta hai ki positive attitude se aap successful kaise ban sakte hain so the first step is to know yourself one of the ways in which we at management me help people to know themselves is to understand about the various attributes that they have now these attributes are measurable attributes and you can come to know uh, at what level you are in terms of your personality type so the first test that we do is called as the fits and this is a personality style assessment and this has been uh, devised on the work done by the famous psychologist Carl Jung so it's f means feeler i means intuitor t means thinker and s means sensor so these are four personality styles which we all have within ourselves and we perform on either of the either of the personality styles at most of the times so we have we have one predominant personality style and a secondary personality style but yes we do have the capacity to use the other styles but if you have not been using it it could be because of heredity 
hereditary or it could be because of the environment. So, feeder, inducer, thinker, and sensor. These four personality styles, if you come to know your scores on that and you know which is the maximum score. For example, my uh, I am a feeler, intuitor, sorry, an intuitor feeler combination. So I am an idea person. Intuitor means a person with a lot of ideas. Ideation, innovation is their forte. Thinker is a person who is a systems person. Processes have to be set, things have to be done. So a very thorough person, a system and process person is called as thinker. Um, sensor is a person who has hands-on approach towards things. That is, he is an operations person. He will always want to do something, fix something, fix something, solve problems. Okay, And uh, they act to without thinking, they just take action. So the action person is sensor. And then we have the feeler. Feeler is a a uh, person who is, uh, you know, constantly wanting people around, need to feel the touch, need to have a human connection for them to survive. So, they are feelers. So, you have feelers, thinkers, intuitors and sensors. So, if your predominant style is feeling and intu intuition, then and you are a predominant feeler, that means you will be easily influenced by people because you are a people's person and their opinions will matter to you. So, in terms of doing anything, you will want the approval of people. So, if you have a high feeler score, then that is possibly the personality that you have. And if you are a thinker person, you will talk only when it is required. You will have minimal talk and you will just focus on things and you would want to plan everything before you did. Senses will be people who will jump into the pool without thinking and just, you know, get into the act and uh, uh, intuitors will be people who will be just talking about ideas, idea after idea. There are a lot of things that are very visual and they think about the bigger picture. So those are the intuitors. So I'm sure you're able to understand a little bit. Thoda baad aapko samaj mein aa raha hai ki personality styles kya hote hain. To agar aapko apna score pata chalega to aapko pata chalega ki aap predominantly kaun sa personality combination ho. So, uske hisaab se, aap kaun se field mein achcha karoge. For example, I am a feeler. Secondary style is a feeler. So, counseling and psychotherapy is a uh, training, counseling, uh, speaking. These are areas in which I am going to excel. And yes, I, of course, I have excelled. I am a master at speaking and helping people to realize their goals. Okay, so this is how you can know after understanding your own self which is the career that will best suit to you, which is the partner that will best suit to you. So if you uh, if you have a partner and you want to know whether you have good compatibility or not, you need to you know, do your couple test and you will come to know uh, if at all you are going to go ahead with the partnership and what are the changes that each person needs to make. So many times uh, couple tests for uh, psychometrics uh, helps people to come together and solve their relationship issues as well. You can also use this assessment for uh, uh, academic achievement, academic performance. So uh, if you want to know your career or if you want to improve your academic grades, then this tool is a very good tool. So uh, FITS was one of the tests. Apart from that, there is multiple intelligence. Multiple intelligence is a concept that is developed by Howard Gardner who says that intelligence is not just one attribute. It is not how smart you are. It is how you are smart. So there are nine types of intelligences that he speaks about. Intrapersonal skills, interpersonal skills, logic and mathematical reasoning, uh, 3D imagination, spatial imagination, linguistic ability, musical ability, kinesthetic ability, so uh, on and so forth. So these are the and existential, sorry, metaphysical ability. So these are all the multiple intelligences that are there. So for example, if a person is low in logic and reasoning, definitely his or her planning will not be good. He may have a personality style in which his thinker score will be low, so on and so forth. It's a beautiful science. And this 
psychometric assessments has helped me to accept people as they are. So this is the first P of success. We have a number of tests under it. We have cards that is concrete, abstract, random and sequential. It is how you take in information and how you process information. Then you have the learning styles which is visual, auditory and kinesthetic. Then you have the PPC 20 for working people. It talks about the people's performance competency. So some of the factors, there are 20 factors which are divided into five domains. So each of the factors is like um, you have relationship, you have developing people, resilience, motivating others, intrapersonal skills, interpersonal skills, so on and so forth. So even that gives an idea about how the uh, employee is in the organization and whether he is a good fit for the job role that has been given to him. So we also do professional development training programs and in that the psychometric assessment is a necessity. So just imagine if you know if the employee has all the attributes, the knowledge and the skills required for a particular job, there won't be any attrition in the company. So the psychometric assessments are a tool which helps you to understand behavior, attitudes and personality of people. So that is the first P to success. So let's go to the next P. Now that you know what you are made up of, you have to check on how do you carry yourself? What is your attitude towards life? How do you speak with others? And that is your personality. So the second P is personality development. We all are a gift from God. But how do we develop this gift? And it's like, you know, we are a present. And you have to open the present and see so many small, 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 small presents are there which, by, with which we can contribute to the world and ourselves evolve as human beings. So the personality development course is an awesome thing for anybody to go through. It's, it's, it's a must course, I would say. I would suggest this for... Uh, everyone in every organization so that you develop your own self and understand the treasures that are there within you and for this let me invite one of my participants who has done the level 1, level 2 and level 3 of personality development uh, here with me to share her experience on how the personality development program helped in shaping her personality and leading her on the path of success. So stay tuned. Hi friends, I have this beautiful young woman with me and I would say a very daring young woman. She wasn't so daring before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> so tell me Neha, how did you like the, the Sandy Development Program and what changes do you observe in yourself? So before joining personal development, uh, I remember the first session uh, when I came to Vision Man, uh, I wasn't confident uh, and uh, uh, I was not feeling at all. Uh, I came with my dad and he only spoke to her about yeah. me. <laughs> I didn't remember you were just sitting like this. That you know, if, if, I, uh, if I ask you anything, then you will put your head like this. Yes. I remember. <laughs> So uh, after joining personality development, uh, I I became confident uh, and uh, surely you can see that I am talking uh, in front of camera. <laughs> and she didn't even know to speak English properly, so she trained herself. You have English speaking also online, so she trained herself to study the basics of English, and now she speaks fluently. Yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. And uh, she helped me to know myself and uh, she, because of her, uh, I have gone to shop. <laughs> uh, yeah. I shaved my hair and in full bun. Yeah, she was fully <laughs> bald and she decided to take that step. I was really surprised Ki how come this shy and timid young girl is deciding to shave off her hair. Yes, and I surprised her. <laughs> yes, I really was surprised. Amazing. 
Yes, and uh, uh, because of her only, I was uh, means I didn't thought so much that what people will think, how will I look, how will I face public, uh, my friends, and everyone out. Uh, and if someone can stay there full head, then that is a big thing. And That's a big step. I did it because I became confident, and uh, uh, I don't know if you will believe, but uh, after shaving my head, I traveled from Naigao to Gorigao, and from Gorigao to Naigao back uh, with local train in public. Mm -hmm. People were looking at me, but that was okay. I didn't felt shy. <laughs> I was confident. Yeah, so I was a busy man and also Alma's man because of her also I am speaking English this fluently what I am speaking and I am learning, uh, still I am learning to speak fluently and uh, I will be in future also. Yes. So thank you Alma's for being a part of Management Bee's English training program. We are really happy to uh, have you agreed to do this training for our students. And yes, Almas is also a very pure person who understands whatever is required for the students to improve their English. And she takes it in a manner that you really enjoy also. Yes, the class. yes. We don't right. uh, like, we don't feel bored yeah. with her. Uh, and uh, she makes learning fun. Yes. <laughs> we don't feel like we are sitting to learn English like very grammar, grammar type. We, we don't uh, learn. We don't like when the uh, teacher teaches like this is now, this is pronoun, we have to write whole yeah. sentences and like that. Uh, I have fun learning with her. Yeah. Because uh, BG man and Almas man both are uh, like, uh, they always keep on saying their uh, students uh, to affirm themselves, which is very really helpful. Yes. Uh, because of uh, first time, means on, in my first level uh, of uh, personality development, uh, she told me. That I should keep on saying myself that I am confident, I am confident. And uh, whenever I felt like I am not confident, I used to say myself that don't worry, you are confident, you are confident. And then I used to go to people and talk to them uh, on behalf of her. Yeah, and Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome, welcome, dear Neha. She is also a hairstylist and a hairdresser. Dress, uh, um, she uh, learned from the Blunt Academy. And now she has been absorbed by them to do the internship. So I am so very proud of Neha, really proud of you for the kind of changes and the transformation that you have brought in your own life. So Neha has proved that other koi dil se chahe ki usse kuch banna hai, to zarur wo ban sakta hai. Yes. And uh, sakta hai ya sakti hai. <laughs> so if you decide that you want, you have a goal in front of you and you decide that you want to reach there no matter what and whatever has to be done you will do it. So that is the kind of determination this young girl had and with her dedicated efforts and of course the coaching of her gurus she has reached this stage. Today she is in personality development level 3. So level 1 I have told you about Level 2 mein humne thoda sa creative visualization pe kiya tha. Abhi level 3 pe, I'm going to teach you about affirmations and we are going to make a vision board of what your uh, goal is going to be. So ye jo third level hai, third level pe, aapka jo final step hai, usme creative visualization karke humko apna kutka ek vision board banana hai. So we are not making a vision board, we are making a vision book. जो आप कोर्स होने के बाद में रोज उसको एक बार देखोगे और वो फील करोगे कि आपने एक्चुअली आपके जो ड्रीम्स आपने लिखे हैं उसको आपने एक्चुअलाइज किया। So one of the dreams that she has is uh, working with uh, Ranveer Singh, uh, styling his hair. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> so that is her choice now of uh, you know. Wanting to style Ranveer Singh. So we are going to come back in another video when she actually achieves this. So ek bar jo aapne message universe ko beja hai na, wo universe aapko waha tak le jai. So you don't have to doubt, just have to feel the euphoria. Agar Ranveer Singh aapke baju mein hai aur aap unko style kar rahe, to aapko kis tarah ka feeling hoga? 
you need to stand up, how you hold the mic, how you project your voice. This is what we teach in our public speaking course. And yes, I've been an inspirational orator since a long period of time. I won accolades uh, in this field and my mastery. I remember one of the teachers would tell me, you know, um, the adjective for public speaking is Vijay's. <laughs> so I was so touched at that time I did not know what it meant but now I realize it. So uh, speaking is an art and an art to connect to people. It helps you to build relationships and your relationships take you to the level of success that you want to reach. So today if I am success, if I am a life designer, it is because of my communication skills. I have students whom I have communicated for more than 30 years, not verbally also, but through thoughts. So public speaking is such an effective skill that will help you to earn at least 25% more than people who do not have public speaking skills. Right? So as I told you, you have to go forward in a field where your authority or your mastery will be shown not only by your technical skills of styling the hair but also by the way to relate to the customer. Yes. Have you made the customer feel comfortable? Have you convinced the customer that I have a better product for you and I want what is best for you? Why are you settling for a cheaper shampoo or a cheaper this when your hair is so precious? Yes. Right? So how do you convince the audience that yes this product is what I want to sell it to you because I feel this is the best and you should not use anything less than the best. Yes. So that conviction with which you speak is what we train you into in public speaking. Okay, so uh, definitely uh, we are going to take a video once more when she's joined the public speaking course and she is going to inspire you by the things that she has to say of her customers. Yes. You know, when, when, when a customer comes back and tells you know what, मुझे नेहा से ही बाल काटाना है या मुझे नेहा से ही हेयर स्टाइल जैसे मुझे यहां पे कर्ल करना है तो मुझे नेहा से ही कर्ल करवाना है दैट इज योर विन बिकॉज़ यू हैव समथिंग कनेक्टेड टू दैट क्लाइंट एंड टोल्ड दैट ऑल दैट आई नीड इज द बेस्ट फॉर यू दैट इज ट्रू सेल्स एक्शन दैट इज कॉल्ड सेलिंग विद इंटीग्रिटी just as I am selling public speaking <laughs> right now with integrity. So um, public speaking also helps to uh, you know co-elevate one another. So by talking to one another about things that are of benefit to both and in a manner that will be accepted by both is called as co-elevating one another. So you are also winning, I am also winning. So I win, then you win. God bless. Well friends, we have come to the fourth P of success. Well, that's personal coaching. You may wonder why do we require personal coaching? Who is a personal coach first of all? Well, a coach is a dealer in hope. So what do I do? I just sell hope. When you give hope to people, you leave a legacy behind because you have done something very different. You have spent your time for people. You have given them a feeling that they matter. You have given them a feeling that yes, you will listen to them. So they have a sense of being heard. They have a sense of uh, worthiness which you give them. That is the role of a coach. And a coach will coach you to reach where you want to. That doesn't mean that a coach will do things for you. The coach will show you the way, be with you on the way and help you to reach where you want to be. So what a coach does is helps you with techniques and mind management systems to take you from where you are to where you want to be. And 
Many of you may think that I don't need a coach. Why, why do I need a coach? If you will see the greatest players in the world, or if you see the greatest businessmen in the world, or if you see the greatest professors in the world, have had coaches. Because a guru shows you a different perspective to the life's situation. So again, I'll come back to the first thing that I had said about a positive attitude. So the guru shows you a positive picture of what actually is. He does not remove the flavors of life from it to show that it is a rosy picture. He gives you the rose with the thorns as well. So you need to be aware about the thorns that are there. And he tells you that yes, if you have surpassed the thorns, you will reach the flower. And the flower you are again symbolically as success. And success what I mean is what or where you want to reach. So a personal coach helps you to enhance your performance. A personal coach helps you to see what is lacking and do the repair work. Sometimes there are so many past burdens that you have not released. And a coach helps you to release those past burdens. I'll give an example of one of my clients. Uh, I'm not taking his real name. Let's say it was Mr. Tony. Mr. Tony was brought to me by, referred to me by one of my clients. Uh, and problem was he couldn't sleep for two and a half years since an incident that happened in his house. So after he came for the session to me, after we did the clearing of the backlog of two and a half years, the trauma that he went through, the uh, it, it is called as PTSD, that is post-traumatic stress disorder. He was suffering from that because of the incident that happened in his life where he actually saw his brother who had committed suicide and he brought the body down. So that image and whatever happened because of that was ringing in his ears for so long and he himself felt guilty for the death of his brother. So uh, this gentleman was not at peace for two and a half years. After doing the session, we cleared the entire um, images from his past memory to a process called as neuro linguistic programming that is NLP process. So through that we cleared the entire thing in just one session and he was totally free from the burden that was bothering him for the past two and a half years. And then he gives me a message the next day morning, ma'am, today is the first day that I slept peacefully. He isn't sleeping peacefully, a luxury for many people. You and me may sleep anywhere at any time <laughs> at the drop of a hat because you don't have uh, anything in here but believe me there are people who are suffering from insomnia and uh, not able to sleep at all and of course then their fun body functioning also reduces. So uh, there could be some problems that people are facing which need not uh, you know, be daily for two and a half years as it was done with him. There are simple measures and instant methods by which you can free yourself from the burdens of the past. That is what personal coaching can do for your career, your professional life as well as your personal life. Next we come to the fifth P of success that is called as professional development training program. This professional development training program is a customized module for junior and senior leaders seeking to move higher up in their career in the organization. So we do it after taking a need analysis, after sitting with the management members and then deciding to do the uh, training sessions for the group that needs an increment or needs a promotion so that the candidates will be able to perform to their best and set higher goals and expect more from themselves so that they have the commitment to perform for themselves and hence the company also grows and the productivity increases.
So it's a very customized module with a mix of personal coaching, public speaking, personality development and anything that is required to help them to be the best employee of the organization. So uh, we also consider the, considers the organizational culture and aligns the candidate to be in sync with the organizational culture as well as be a contributor helping the company to reach higher levels of success. So that is a professional development training program. So dear friends, I would like to tell you to implement this five piece of success into your lives. And yes, Management Me was found in 2009 with the sole purpose of transforming individuals to their best version. And we have a small dream. It's to inspire one billion plus people to transform to their best versions. And that is a small agenda that we have and that's the purpose of this video to inform you that your life will not be what it is now. It can be better and the best when you decide to work on yourself. The greatest investment that you can make is to invest in your own personal growth. If you invest in your personal growth, you will reach that level of success which you never may have imagined and you will keep climbing and climbing higher and higher making greater and greater goals which will not only contribute to your own success but it will also contribute to the success of everybody who is associated with you just imagine the kind of parenting that this guy mr tony would do when he has allow himself to be free from the past. Would you not consider life to be more precious and want to give best to his family and of course his organization? And that's exactly what he did. A few days back, he came with his wife for one problem that she was facing for more than three years. And she also has been released from the trauma of the past. So this is the effect of the 5P system on your life. So I urge each and every one of you to make the most out of this knowledge that you have received here today and become your best version. My final message to all of you, to thank you for the patience that you have had to listen to such a long video. I hope it really helped you. So this is a final message that I want to give you. Five things that you can do to make your life better from this moment onwards. The first thing is to make hope real. Not only for yourself, but for everyone with whom you interact. And when I say to make hope real, it means to listen from your heart. Be there for the person. Make the person feel important that he or she matters. And show your interest in elevating the pain of that person or telling that person that yes, I care for you, I'm there for you. The second thing is to affirm. I, my hope is grounded in deeper reality. My hope is grounded in deeper reality. Affirm it at least 21 times per day and you will see the change that happens in your life. The third is gratitude. I'm grateful to reach out to others with energy of hope by asking and listening to them from the heart. The third is drop and dissolve. I drop and dissolve all or any preconceived notions that I hold when I listen to others. When you listen to others, you have certain things in your mind. He's going to say this, she's going to say this, no, 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 no I don't want to listen to this. And you have your own, uh, you know, dialogue going on in your head. That's not true listening. Listen to listen from the heart and to connect to that person. So drop and dissolve. I drop and dissolve all or any preconceived notions that I hold when I listen to others and that is when you will become an effective listener. And last but not least, bless each and every one who comes into your life. Blessings to one and all to connect with each other deeply and give them hope here and in the now. That is keeping it pure 
Be authentic, be genuine when you care for people and tell them so. Because a bell is not a bell until it's rung. In the same manner, a song is not a song until it's sung. In the same manner, good intentions will not have fruits until you express your intentions to others. So love all, be there to help them, be genuine, be authentic and connect to people from your heart. Stay blessed, I will when you will.